Sly, the insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet.
I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. The blueprints! They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, 
I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us. <laughs>